as it is kickoff here, our second quarterfinal of the day. It is Kiv battling Decroft for $45,000 and a spot in the semifinals. The kick is away. It is Decroft with the ball first as he will return this out to the 16 yard line and we get to see the U-Trips master uh, on offense and get rolling. Uh, gentlemen, I don't think it gets much better than this as we're quickly to the game no, and it is no. Davis right at the middle Come picking on. up four. We saw that run user for Decroft be pretty successful in his first round matchup. And Decroft, like Clef likes to say, he, he plays a different style. He wants to slow the game down. He's, you're gonna see him be very balanced. He's going to be very patient and take what you give. If you give up the flats all day, he does not mind checking it down and just inching his way down the field. Mm. Come on. Get come on. In trouble. Come and on. We got a little mm -hmm. chirp get from Kim. That's what mm -hmm. we're going to get. It, it, mm -hmm. Listen, if you're expecting a quiet game from this, too, I don't think we're going to see it. Yeah, and don't get it twisted, right? These guys, you know, they respect each other, but there is no love lost between these two. They are going to chirp. You are going to hear it. They're going to cap. They're going to get emotional. And that's the type of John Madden football I love to see on the big stage. Third down and eight. Three wide, two to the left, one to the right. Brunel, no motion on that play. Four-man rush, picked up nicely. Got all sorts of time to the left sidelines. It's Urban. The K lines up and knocks Come it out. out. That was a beam. Wow. That, was, that a was a beam, and that's a heck of a hit. Oh, yeah, it was a beam, and then that's why you have those knockouts. That's why you have those KOs, because it doesn't matter if they're open. As long as you can get your KO in position and knock the ball out, that's the only thing that matters. And right here, you already see Kiv adjusting. Versus me, you saw him run pure man, pure man abilities. You see him with deep out zones, now mid zones, pick artists. He switched his whole game plan just to play Decroft, and that's what high-level Madden players do. Either way, massive play in this game. Christian Kirk motions from left to right, fourth down and eight. Brunel back to pass for Decroft. Looks over the middle. He's got Kittle. Kittle oh catches it, goes oh up and God. makes the catch to the 43-yard oh line. Oh, my God. Oh, man, big time break right there for Decroft. Scary pass. And to Clef's point, we saw when Decroft played Wesley, it was all man, right? Had the cloud flats one side or the other. But you see Kid early going to that zone coverage, trying to mix it up on him. And I think that's a great strategy. But fortunately for Decroft, comes up with a big high ball down the seam. And if you really look at what Decroft's doing right now, I'm assuming that he probably prepared for Kid. He knows that Kid. Pressure. Like, oh, pressure. Oh, down comes Brunel. I was just about to talk Come about on. that pass protection right there. He's he ID he's IDing the defensive tackle here because he probably expected Kiv to be backing those corners backs up immediately, and he's sliding his line away from his running back. I don't know if he's going to pick up this blitz right here. By the way, both these guys wearing headphones, but they're all going to talk loud enough to make sure the other player can hear them. These are two guys, Boogs, you talk about guys who know how to play in a live event atmosphere. They use that sort of, okay. I don't want to say intimidation, but at least that. Oh, oh, it's a oh, pick. Oh, it's Woodson. Overthrows his receiver. The first it. turnover of the game going to Kiv. Huge turnover right there for the Kiva. And the crazy thing is, Kiv's just sending it from both sides. Loop on both sides. Sometimes you see it on one side or the other. Kiv is just sending the dogs. Decroft with an unfortunate overthrow, and Kiv is in business. And that's what happened when you feel pressure early. Look at this pocket right here. This is terrible, terrible pocket. And that's what caused that overthrow. That was a good idea to throw that. But when you drift them back in that pocket, it causes the inaccurate. And you can see throws right to Charles Woodson. And, Boogs, as I, was, as I was saying, these are two guys, the X factor of this. It's not just offense and defense. It's not just X's and O's. But the X factor of playing the live environment, they know how to use that to their advantage. Oh, yeah. You're going to see both of these guys use the energy and really just channel the energy of the room and the energy from their opponents to really kind of set the tone for what the game's going to be. And that's really what I've been waiting for, to get back to these live events. Kid reminds me of the old days. He's not afraid mm -hmm. to sit there and chirp. Like, I, that's what I've been expecting these man players to do. You got the advantage to be face-to-face. -face. Out of there. And there. Oh, there goes Harmon down the right sideline. Inside the 30, to the get 20, there. to the Open 10. Welcome back to Open the live events, Kid. He's on the board. Big time play for Kiv. Simple wheel route, throws it to Herman Moore on the flat and takes it all the way to the end zone. Don't remember, Kiv has been around since Madden 16. Mm -hmm. He's still only 25 years old. He's been around for a long time. He's been in this he's moment. Oh, he's very seasoned for this moment. What a start to this game. For 818's Kiv up 7-0. As D. Croft will take this out of the back of the end zone. Oh, He'll take a big hit at the 15-yard line. Take a look at this cleft. Big play to Herman Moore, and once Herman Moore gets an open space, you can forget about it. And that's a great job by Kiv. Knowing he's going to get man. Playing against 
strictly man, and it's not shaded down. When it's not shaded down, you can call Y curl, throw that wheel route. That's been popular all year, and just a great job of getting sticky and getting to the end zone. Use your big drive here for Decroft to respond. Yeah, he has to go down here and get some points because you know the type of momentum. That's a nice dot right there, high ball down the middle of the field. You know the type of momentum that Kiev can take off with and make this game go, get out of hand. 7 nothing early. 213 and counting in the first quarter. Two wide to left, one to the right side. George Kittle, that's been his favorite target so far. He'll motion over to the right side of the formation. Terrell Davis, the lone back. Four-man rush from Kiv steps up as Brunel oh. and gets hit as he throws. Oh, oh Teddy Hendricks was waiting for that one. Boy, thought he might have had Kittle down the seam right there. And, of course, Decroft known for this U-trips uh, formation. You can find this in the Patriots or the Raiders playbook. Uh, he's always going to have his trips to the wide side of the field. So he uses those hash marks perfectly, creates better spacing, create better route combos, and he always pretty much motions on, I would say, at least 70, 80 percent of his plays. Make tackles. This right side. Come on. Go out of bounds at the 46 yard line. Reminder, guys, just one more time, if you want to look at these guys' mutt rosters ability, learn a little bit more about the players, make sure you watch Inside the Command Center on Twitch. Big shout-out to everybody hanging out with us, Twitch, YouTube. We see you out there in the chat. We appreciate you guys. Nick Mazesco, one great user. Tyler Davis, Boogs, and Clef the God with you. Our second game of three today here from the Ultimate Madden Bowl presented by PS5. Third down and four. Christian Kirk motions over to the right side. It goes outside of Tyree Kill. Stepping up is Decroft and finding yep. Tatum. Oh, he Come got on. lit up over the middle. Come it's going to set up another fourth down. And Kiv just being a second off with his user. He saw the, the backside route coming open, but then came down with a big hit, big hit stick by Mike Car Michael Carmichael. And you, you can tell Decroft looks a little bit, you know, confused. I'm not sure he was expecting all this zone coverage, right? He's using the, still a lot of man beaters. Motion slant with the tight end corner route, and that zone coverage is giving him some problems. Fourth down and four. Brunel back to pass over the middle. It's Tyreek Hill, oh and a great user to pull oh him God, away from pass, the deep bro, safety pass, and not get hit downhill God, again. Tight window right there. You know, one of the best rock combos every year. The slant post combo stresses the user right there. Kiv uh, chooses the slant. Decroft goes to the post, gets right behind the user, sneaks it in there for a dog. And that's very fortunate about Decroft right there because that Harold Carmichael has mid zone. As you've seen a play before when he knocks it out 10 to 20 yards, he's going to knock that pass out. So Decroft got a little fortunate right there. First and 10 to the ground game. It's Davis up the middle. We saw this ground game be very successful for D. Croft in round number one, T. Davis, and he goes back to it today. Yeah, and that's pretty much the first time he's gone to it, maybe second time, but I like to see him mix that in a little bit more, right? Especially versus that 3 3 loop defense where it's spread out. You can get in the middle there. He does have some of those offensive line abilities like Nasty Street and get to that second level. So great play call right there from D. Croft. As you see, he went to the curb just now because of the run. Watch the tight end crosser on this play. Defense. Make, make your opponent adjust. Three-man rush. Brunel steps up, throws it left side. He's got Kittle, but that's Come overthrown. On, man. That's I expect him to go right back to that play on this next down here. He's going to look for that, that hitch he has on the solo receiver. Is really going to kind of pull the zones, and he's going to just watch for either the tight end crosser or that backside post. Second and ten. Washington Husky, Mark Brunel back to pass, oh hit as he God. throws, and Kiv's begging for one of those D-line picks. Good call, Boogs. He did go right back to that tight end crosser, try to get it there, but Kiv sent all that pressure. And this is tough. Remember, the field shrinks down here in the red zone, 13-yard line. Kiv can kind of sit back, lurk the middle of the field. Going to go to it again, it looks like. Here he goes, three-man rush. Tight end's open. Going to Kittle. Does he have it? Come he does on, indeed. Dean Croft with the answer as he's an extra point away from tying this quarterfinal up. Three plays in a row. He goes to the tight end crosser, and on the third time, it pays off. Tight now window. Clicks back. on. Makes a user catch, and ooh. And that's a great free form right there by Decroft. If you throw that pass and you just pass lead it up, that knockout is going to activate. Pass leads it down. Clicks on. Brings his guy back to the ball. And that's a, that's a big high-level play right there to get seven. Third and ten. Let's see that play one more time. Mark Brunel to George Kittle in the corner of the end zone. Ties this game up. Right there, big play. D. Croft chirping at him, letting him know, hey, man, you're dealing with a dog. You just ain't dealing with anybody that's going to lay down. Way to respond, getting seven. Boys, you go, you go enjoy this one. Boogs, Clef, user, we'll catch up with you guys at halftime. I have a feeling. I have a feeling we might get some energy from the side set over there. Clef might not leave. Clef might just stand here and watch this game. First and ten. 
Kiv able to pick up six on the ground. His first run of the game. What a first quarter. Seven apiece, TD. I'm just waiting. I can't wait for this chirping that we're going we're gonna to get a lot of it here soon. We, we got to start getting some fireworks going. Both these guys are going to be going hard at each other, man. This is big time. I, this is awesome right here. Like, this is just, this is what Madden's all about, competitive Madden. Left side, good throw away there from Kiv. Pressure getting there. Third down and four. Uh, the first incompletion for Kiv. Yeah, and the one thing I love about Kiv's game this year, which is so different, you know, Kiv is known for his gun bunch every single year, his one formation. And maybe you would think, oh, he just runs tight this year. But no, he he spreads out his his formations in that Saints playbook. You see him here go to the tight, the quick uh, wheel route to the running back, nice little stick work. But you'll see him in bunch, you'll see him in the tight, you'll see him in a little bit of trio, you'll see him in some stack wide flex in this Saints playbook. He really mixes it up well. And I think when Kiv has that to his arsenal, man, he's just, he's one of the best offensive players. So you give him a couple formations with more money plays, man, the sky's the limit. We saw that Keith Byers have a great run in the ultimate wild card, sitting there, what, six foot one, 245 out of Ohio State, at Campus Heroes 2. Man, you want a, a back that can have some speed and some power, Byers is your answer. Yeah, and he'll truck, he'll stiff arm. We see a lot of people go to that Terrell Davis with the short and elite, but he's stuck with Byers. Uh, mm -hmm. Gets tackled there, but he, he really loves his buyers, and it's paid off for him in this tournament so far. So that, that looked like the uh, the out-of-position Julius Peppers, who might be one of the best in the game. Yeah, and we saw Dez with a big uh, lurk with him earlier, so that Julius Peppers is just a monster. Six foot six, right? Just whew, beast in the Julius middle. Julius Peppers, six seven. Oh, six seven, yep. 295. Good monster. Down under four minutes to go in the first half. Second and 10 for Kip. Quick throw to Byers. Boy, Kiv making these reads quickly. And those quick wheel routes out of that stack Y flex, they're so good. They almost can work like a, a makeshift screen sometimes. You just get out there quickly. If you don't have a hard flat, it really can be difficult to defend it. Sometimes even against a hard flat, it can work. So great quick read there from Kiv, getting it out in space. Puts himself in a manageable third and six. Let's see if Decroft sends some pressure. Tension in here is palpable. Everybody locked in on this battle. Going to the tight slots. Got Byers on the right hip of Brunel. Quick play action, lots of time. Looking left side, can Irvin get there? Feet and bounds, yes indeed, at the 11 yard line. Oh, ho, 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 ho. man, Decroft can't believe that was completed. You see Kiv go to the play action out of tight, to try to slow down that loop blitz, throws the corner road on the tightest window on the sideline. Make the tackle, just make the tackle. You can feel it, Nick. You can feel the energy. This is different. Mm-hmm. This is this is old school. Oh yeah. This brings me back to some of those games back in Madden 19. Yeah. This is what we've been waiting for. This is this is truly the the we're back moment, yes. right? Like yes. yes. You can feel it in the air in this room. Second down, throws left side, high ball, just swatted away, looking for big Michael Irvin on the edge. Yeah, he tested him. One on one there, tried to high ball Kiv with that SWAT right there. Nice user SWAT too. Showing off those user skills. Tough third and eight. We'll see what uh, Kiv cooks up. Move it around here because he's got a tight offset. Look for yep. maybe some dual post, dual hitches type of concept. Irvin and Moore to the left side. Kittle and Kirk to the right. Third down and eight. Can technically pick up a first down without getting into the end zone. Three man rush from Decroft. Brunel back to pass, waiting. There's just nobody open, and he'll throw this away. A great throw off the field goal post. That's worth no points. And you know Decarf's scouting report was on point right there. He knew the dual post, dual hitch was coming. He was ready for it. Everything was bagged. Forces Kid to settle for three. Ball's down, kick is up. It is good. 10-7, your score. Long drive for Kid. Can't cash in the touchdown, but he will take the lead. He will. I think that's a win, though, if you're Decroft, get him down to the red zone, right? That's always one of the strategies, you know, that bend but don't break style. No big plays, forcing the methodical move down the field, get him into the red zone. It's hard to score in the red zone, especially touchdowns. You, set, you force him to settle for three, you put yourself in a good spot. Lots of time here for Decroft, though. 223 to put something together. It's interesting watching these guys play because I feel like Kid. So much is instinct, so much is just this experience. Whereas Decroft, I always just talking to him, he's one of the, I think, the biggest thinkers in Madden. He's mm -hmm. always trying to find that next advantage in practice mode. Every single play, as we get, a, he get, Kid gets a free screamer right up the middle there. But great point, Nick. Decroft is one of those thinkers. You can kind of see it after every single play. Kind of, you can see the scratch just, of the yeah, chin, the uh, scratch of the chin, the, you know, the, you just, you just see it on his face. He, he's just a deep thinker. 
And that's what you love to see too. That's what makes these live events different in person too. Online, you know, you kind of just go with the flow. But in person, every single play matters. You got to really digest it, dig deep, and think about it. Kirk over the right side. Decroft steps up, might have square, does have square. That's Tyreek Hill over midfield. Big hit, but holds on to the ball. He picks up 31 on the pass play. Yeah, and once again, Kiv goes zone, but he does man up the tight end in that spot, right? Mans up the left side there. Decroft comes back, though, has that post route that clears out the safeties over the middle. Uh, you know, you have to worry about the underneath slant a little bit because Decroft loves that motion slant. That's one of his bread and butters on a lot of his route combos, but goes to the post behind it. And he's gone, that, gone that to that a few times this game and it's been successful. So look for Decroft to continue to go to that. Two minute warning. And what has been an entertaining first half. Brunel on first and 10. Step up in the pocket, throws right side. He's got Irvin inside the 15, out of bounds at the 10 yard line. A beautiful design play from Daniel Mycroft. The thinking man does it again. What a route, the little out and up route. He waits till it gets behind the cloud flat. I mean, just phenomenal right there. Just the patience, the pocket presence, steps up, waits for him to get behind the defender and throws a beam down the sideline. $45,000 on the line. Possible to earn ninety-five thousand dollars tonight between these two games. Might have circled in the end zone. Instead, he'll throw it away. Nice late recognition there from Kib defensively. Yeah, you know, Kib, I mean, Croft had him a little bit early, but it was too late by the time. I think he wanted the the zig route to the left side, but he was too late with that. Also, throw it away. Live to fight another down. We might see three more drives here before the first half is over. Mm-hmm. We're now quick throw to Kirk. Good tackle over there. Oh boy, did he bring the heat. Yeah, Decroft goes to bench right there. So you get those two baby out routes. You get the two corner routes behind it. Checks it down to the out route. Puts himself on a manageable third two down here at the three. Let's see what he cooks up. So you have that goal line back ability. He does have that goal line back ability. So let's see if he utilizes that here. Third down and two. Once again, does look like he can technically pick up a first down. He's going to go to the run game. On, Byers, Byers avoids the tackle and is into and the end zone. Now. Decroft, two touchdowns on two drives. Oh, look at those two. Look at those two. And Decroft with a big punch right there. What did you say? No love lost? No love lost between these two at all. You can just see the competitive fire in both of them. That's what makes this, you know, the greatest rivalry in Madden. Here you go. First and ten. This was... Big play to set it up. It was Michael Irvin up the right side. Yeah, that out and up route. Just patience, waits for it to get behind the defender, and then easy quick base, punches it in with Byers, and Decroft is fired up. First down attempt for Kiv, looking to answer. Minute 41, two timeouts in his pocket. Quick throw to the flat, it's Byers. That's such an easy play for him. And look at Byers fight through tackles, picking up 12. Yeah, Kib doesn't run a lot of bunch this year, but when he does, he goes to this Y curl play, and usually he tries to hit the uh, running back out of the backfield on that quick throw to the wheel. So that's his bread and butter here in bunch. He tries to go back to a little bit. Over the top, can he get there? Can't he pick. finds oh, Kirk, but the KO prize it free. Mm, goes to the trail play, tries to hit that deep post. One of the best routes for zone and man, but Decroft gets that KO ability to knock it out. On second down. Oh, look at the pancake on the Got right him. side. And that um, might have freed up Kittle. Oh. And he missed him. He had him open for a touchdown. Kiv absolutely disgusted by it. A free touchdown down the seam. How does he bounce back third and ten? Three-man rush once again. Decroft Kumpel dropping into zone. Great. You want to talk about the ball? Oh, the ball's out. The ball's out. out. It's out picked up by Jimmy Come Ward. Decroft gets a break off a fantastic freeform pass. But Decroft, oh, you had to call the highway patrol because that looked like a car crash. 
What a turn of events. Kim throws a laser with the phenomenal free form, and D. Croft just says, I'm going to lay the wood. Give me that. Nails him with the hit stick and takes the ball over, and he's got a little something to say about it. Remember, guys, use that hashtag Madden Bowl if you're tweeting about this. Let's get Madden Bowl trending around the world as this game deserves every single one of those tweets. Hashtag Madden Bowl. You might see your tweet here on the air. Minute nine and counting. Huge opportunity for Dean Cross. Yeah, this is massive. And the thing is, you've got to go down and get seven right here. you got plenty of time. you got those two timeouts. Three is fine, but seven really puts Kiv in a tough spot. See if Decroft can, can do it. Second and five. Look, oh, look out. He's got X wide open, and he don't misses Kittle up the don't seam. High ball. Just don't high ball. He's got a fumble quick. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so Decroft no said. No love lost. Decroft says don't high ball it. We know what Kiv said. He don't want to hear no complaining. Man. You said it, Nick. <laughs> no love lost. Third down and five. Great defense from Kim. Get to the backfield, fourth and long. Come on. He can't That's move it. the ball. He literally cannot move the ball. Impressive stuff from Kim. That's how you fight through that adversity. You fumble, but you come back, you get a defensive stand, you send the pressure. And that one's just going to find the end zone. So once again, how about Kiv avoiding disaster, the fumble, but able to stop Decroft now with 35 seconds and one timeout can put on points. Yeah, that was huge. That was huge. Kiv relying on his defense, known as an offensive player, of course, but the defense coming up big and still time for him here with one timeout. Looking right side, he's got Christian Kirk, who gets out of bounds, most importantly, 19. Yards on that play, 31 seconds remaining in the half. Smart. Christian Kirk <clears throat> beats that man coverage to the outside there. Great pass lead, good free form. Outside leverage there on the corner route. Big time dot and gets out of bounds. On first and 10, outside of the pocket goes Kiv. Nobody open on the free form, so he'll throw this one away. Come on. 25 seconds left in the half. Yeah, Kiv tried to set up bench right there. Decroft going man coverage, but he was all over that corner route to the left side. Had an extra defender over there in that zone drop. Completely takes away that corner route to the left. Everything was bad. Look at how locked in these guys are. They want this. Brunel throws it to the flat. It's Byers. Byers going to fight to the 46-yard line. Kiv will use that final timeout. Yeah, tough play for Kiv there. I don't think he loved that, you know, throwing the wheel route. Uh, forced to cut it back in and, and use his final timeout. So needs a little bit more, obviously, here for a field goal. Got to attack the sidelines. Oh, he loves this play out of Trio. Comes the, out of, comes out in bunch, goes to Trio. And he's going to throw it up. Can Irvin make the catch one-on-one? On one? Nope, fine. fourth that's and fine. four. Yeah, Kiv loves that play out of Trio. Hot routes the outside uh, trips receiver to a C route. Has the inside seam that can get in between zones. That time, obviously, it was man. He tried to attack the C route behind it. And now a big decision for Kiv. 14 seconds left. Decroft has two timeouts in his pocket. Kiv is going to punt mm. this ball away. He has said Decroft can't move the ball. He's trusting his defense. Exactly. I think he feels confident in what he's doing on defense. You saw him get the previous stop. That, that loop around the edge, both sides, is giving Decroft some trouble. So he's comfortable punting the ball. Good, good probably, punt out there. Yeah, probably going into the half down four here. Can we see this game another four or five times? Can we just like make this like a like an NBA playoffs? Yeah. Like play Can we get seven? this every event? <laughs> I know these guys probably don't want it, but we certainly do. Five seconds remain. Decroft going to take one more opportunity to break maybe a big run. He's going to go to what a power row here. Just power row out of break something loose. Oh, it goes a little off tackle. Power G. He'll go out of bounds in one second. second. That was a long second. Yeah, it was. We're just going to kneel at this time, and we're going to go to the half. So, wow, what a, what a first did half. That, did that live up to the oh, hype? Oh, yeah. And I think the second half might even be better. You think uh, you think these guys are going to share a slice of pizza, a nice conversation at halftime? Oh, no. Maybe, maybe, maybe a fruit snack? Mm, I don't think they're ever going to do that. Hey, Kiv, you want? I got some fruit snacks here. It will be Kiv with the ball, and that's the other big thing. Kiv getting the ball to start the second half. 
Man, oh man, everyone take a deep breath. Get yourself a glass of water, a snack, because this this is hype. This is what Competitive Madden is all about. I don't know if we've ever done a giveaway quite like this. Two tickets to the Super Bowl plus everything covered. Amazing. I gotta get my phone out. Do I get to do I no, get you can't. This? You're ineligible. Why not? Come on. Oh! Over the top, it's Christian Kirk to the 36-yard line. And just like that, we got fireworks to start it. Kib over the top, moving quickly, gonna go no huddle here. Wants to score quickly. You know Kib's a little bit upset up that first half. She's gonna go with some tempo. First and 10, he'll throw left side, tight Ooh. coverage. But Mike, how good is this Michael Irvin item? Yeah, oh, Michael Irvin's amazing, but scary read for it right there from Kip. Looked like Decroft shaded outside. He still threw it on that uh, out route. Oh, man, scary throw. And especially with Champ Bailey having pick orders for, for zero AP. It, it, it's really scary to make any tight window throw because a lot of times you can get that guy picking the ball through his body. And up to Byers. Good run defense from Decroft. And there's your guy, the milkman, blowing that thing up right up the middle. We talked about him earlier, Nick. Coming up big for Decroft on that inside zone. Big play on the first play of the second half. Defense locking up right now. Third down and four. Kiv waiting, looking. You give him time. He finds KO, open receivers. On, but the KO lighting up to pry that one free. Big fourth down. That's just a great job. That's his abilities. You know, you got to use your abilities to what scheme you running right there. That's Cromartie with that deep route KO doing exactly what the ability says. Any pass over 20, he's going to knock it out if he's close. Can Kiv find four yards? Brunel, quick throw to the flat. It's Byers. That is easy pickings for Kiv. Yeah, he loves that play. Quick wheel route to the backfield on that wide curl, one of the best wheel routes in the game. In the flats, been his bread and butter throughout this game in bunch. Goes to Byers, picks it up. Trips formation over the left side. One tight end right side of the formation. Play clock down to three, down to two seconds, down to one. He just gets the snap Watch off. Zero. Looks to that zero. Triple coverage, and that one almost picked, almost caught, fell for an incompletion. Uh, Clef, I don't know what just happened right there. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know why he threw that. He had. He had a lot of people over there. You know, that's just kind of one of those throws that you. You just pray they don't pick it off. Like, please, whatever please you do, don't, don't pick it please off. Please Somebody don't. just knock it out, run into the defender or something. But that is every throw I make in that. X that X. Oh, yeah, that X wide. It almost takes a hit, too. And that's when good pocket kind of it kind of messes you up having that good of a pocket right there because he almost stepped across the line. He kind of was forced to just run that and try to get the first down. Does he try to run in here on third one? Has had no success on the ground so far. Byers on his right hip. He's, nope, we are not running this ball. Forces oh, Decroft to audible. Wow, he has an X. He oh, had Byers. He finds nobody. And he high passed that for no reason. No reason. He's wide open. He walks in touch now if he just throws that regular. Oh, my goodness. The, the defender didn't even get out there on the on the table route. He could have just threw it. Oh, it's a heartbreaker. Fourth down and one. Another fourth down opportunity for Decroft to get off the field. And that tight offset. Brunel back to pass. Flat route's not there. Stepping up with Brunel. He can pick up the first down. He will indeed, and he'll slide down. That's the pocket club. That's what makes Kid one of the best in the world. Yeah, he got amazing pocket right there. No panic in him. You know, sometimes fourth and one, you kind of get sped up in that pocket, and that, that timer goes off. That's a great job by Kid. Throw it up to Herman Moore, 84 Come with the score. And that's Kid's red zone money play. He goes to the wide trio, PA wide receiver in, high balls the wheel route to Herman Moore, and punches it in. Masterful job for Kid to punch it in the red zone. 10 plays, 76 yards in three minutes. Clef, one of those drives where it could have stopped on many moments, those fourth downs, but that's why Kiv is one of those clutch players we've seen. And when you go into halftime down four, you got one thing on your mind, getting seven by any means. So to come out here and, and do exactly what you planned on doing all half while you were waiting on that break, that gives you so much confidence. Look at this fourth and one. Ty, we talked about how quarterback runs with escape artists being toned down haven't really been a thing and yet Kim seems to use them at the right moment and then just throws it up to her yeah and I swear Kim always has the best red zone offense every year he's always finding something that no one really knows always has the glitchy dots and this time he highballs the wheel in the end zone Decroft going to the ground game trying to get Terrell Davis going he'll lose a yard and if you Decroft right here you want to score as quick as possible whether I get three or seven I don't want to milk myself out this game if you take a long time to get this drive it's a chance you're not going to ever see the ball. Yeah, you're going to touch it. You don't want Kib to have that last drive. Right, especially somebody like Kib. The experience level is there. He's been in this situation numerous times. He's not going to make mistakes. Second and 11. He's taking a shot. Might have a man. It's Christian Kirk inside the 25-yard line. Kirk. Down to the 23. Big play for Daniel Mycroft. 
A little bit of a blown coverage right there. The seam nice. just completely that's uncovered. Right. Simple streak route to the inside. And that's that's Kiv using those adjustments, the safety NB adjustments out of 3-3. Three, three. He had his outside uh, safety in an outside third. Why? Because he's been getting killed with that fade route. So Decroft notices that and streaks his slot right up the middle. This isn't just a chess, chess match, boys. This is chess checkers, backgammon, game of life, and Candyland all wrapped up in one. 51 seconds and counting pressure up the middle. Oh, he got screamed at and had to take a seat. Yeah, and Decroft loves that route called a motion slant with the backside uh, post, and then he also has the zig route with it. One of his favorite route combos every single year, but Kid was ready for it that time, sends the pressure. Once again, the pressure. Clef, he is dialing up. You can tell that Kiv knows it's an important drive. Yeah, you can tell because the thing is about Kiv, he's sending heat right here. He knows no, Decroft has a great pocket. I what's think he doing over here? The young man trying to get them fingers warmed up. Uh, he's he's got trying to get them fingers warmed up. <laughs> I thought it was T. Hey. That's the worst part. I'm like, saying, I'm like is he going to make himself a cup of tea? Now, there's going to send five. He's going to man them safeties up. So I don't know what he, I don't know what he warming them fingers up. He used to that, man. He done did that a million times. We will face the winner of this game as our final game of the night. Third and 15. We near the end of the third quarter. Pressure up the middle. Oh, bad stick from oh, him. God. And a fortunate play from Decroft. Decroft calls it a dive. God, bro. It's getting wow, so that's when lucky. you no risk it, no biscuit, man. It's third and forever. And you really want seven right there. That's just Decroft oh saying, God, I got to get seven. I got to try something. And, and questionable read, but bad job of Kiv clicking on. He didn't know he was going to get clicked on to. He thought it was going to be the safety, so you see him pull away. And just a, just a fortunate break for Decroft. And Kiv cannot believe that Decroft just threw that ball. I need everyone in the chat, YouTube, Twitch, here in the Put your fours up. It's fourth quarter. Pressure ramped up. Five minutes to go until we find out who will take on Dez in the semifinal. Kiv with a three-point lead. D. Krupp knocking on the door. First and goal from the four-yard line. Hand off to Byers. Trying to find some room right side. Good run defense. Porter in on the tackle. He'll lose two. I mean, this game deserves as many people as we can to talk about it. Let's bring in the entire crew. Nick Mazesco alongside one great user, Tyler Davis, Boogs, and Clef. Gentlemen, uh, user, this game is everything we'd hope for. Yeah, and this is what we talked about, the instant classic. Both of these guys not backing down, even though you see mistakes are being made, unfortunate plays, but each guy stepping up when their play needs to be made, made they come up with it. Here we go, second down and goal. Back to pass is Decroft. Three-man rush this time. He's got triangle right side, but he'll throw Ooh. this one away. I thought he was throwing it to that receiver. He looked open to me. Oh, yeah, he was definitely open. I don't think – I think Decroft kind of got fooled by that, that outside cornerback. The cornerback, the way he was kind of strafing, looked like he was going to sit to the outside, but he just kind of – he backpedaled to the inside at the last second. Third down and goal. Two wide to the left, one to the right side. Kittle, the tight end on the left side of that formation. Christian Kirk comes in motion on third and goal, usering with Hendricks, mm. trying to cover everything. And what user there from Kiv? He throws it right side. Davis is stopped at the three. That was just great defense user. Kiv just showing phenomenal user, hopping from route to route. Just making, it seemed like his eyes was jumping everywhere where Decroft's eyes was jumping. Get seven. And how about this? Get seven. Clef? Four minutes to go. We have a tie ball game between these two rivals. Yeah, and Decroft right there decisive to just take three. You know, I think a lot of people right there in that situation might even give it a thought to take seven when you at the three-yard line and with the time left. Like I said, this is this is easy to clock out if you experience. I, I need I need a straw poll from all the Madden players that are in the studio right now. If you're who's here's taking three at that point? Who's taking seven? I need no. I know Henry's going for seven there, but he's probably up 31-3, isn't he? And this is a situation where you, you kind of wonder how Kiv is going to approach it. You know, does he go down and try to score quick, or does he just milk this game out? He finds Christian Kirk over the middle, takes a seat, picks up 13 in the first down. I think he just yeah. told us. I think he told you exactly what he's doing, right? <laughs> he's going down like that, trying to take this whole clock with him. Give back to work. Quick throw to the flat. Byers. Oh. Tackle battle. Do you ever get uh, do you get nervous in those tackle battles? Because we've seen some fumbles out of there. Every single time. Every single time you get in those tackle battles, unless you're on conservative, you're really just going to get ner nervous. Even when you are on conservative, you still feel like, ah, I don't know. You just This is one of those things. And if you're Kim, why aren't you on conservative right here? Why would you ever be on balance right here and even chance that? You in the driver's seat right now. And you've already fumbled once. 
Stepping up, throwing it left route. side. Byers one on one with Lot, and Lot able to pry that one free. You saw the KO light up to knock that out of the hands of Keith Byers. Oh, good protection right there from Kiv, too. He double teamed the left side, ID'd the right side. I thought we might have had him, but there's that KO ability once again, lighting up, knocking it out. Here we go, third and nine. As we're under three minutes to go in this game, he'll split Byers out of the backfield, empty it out for the Washington Husky, Mark Brunel. Three-man rush from Decroft, stepping up no into man, pressure, no and down goes Brunel. J.J. Watt with the sack. Kim hurries to the line. He's going for it. Yeah, this is huge. Could be the game, but probably not. There's a lot of time left, but this is a massive play for both guys. Brunel stepping back. Pancake on the right side. He's got all sorts of time. He's got that one open. He's throwing it late. So He's got oh, Kim. So the freestyle oh completion God, for so Kim. High. Come on. And that's why Finish. it's so key right Come now. On. You see these guys, they, they both have post ups. You got that Jensen and you got Come that on. Hillenberg. If you send three, they are going to have all day. Those post ups, they're going to dominate, double team blocks, and kill. Just a huge play on, on fourth down. Was that as crazy as I thought it was? Hey. I mean, he had multiple, he had calendar amount of time in the pocket. Hey, everybody just yelling out each decision. <laughs> He's open, circle, triangle, scramble, do something. <laughs> Just able to come up with a clutch play right there. Look at the head-to-head -head history between these guys. Anybody else here? We, we were asking Clef this. Boogs are usually. Anybody have a player like that that you've just played so many times in high-pressure situations, or is this is this unique? Uh, I have, but you know, I'm not going to talk about those games. So you know, you did you win? Yeah, you win? That's not important. How many games have you had? What you mean? I ain't had those for some. Oh, I ain't got. I, ain't got yeah, I mean, Cole is his nemesis. Okay, his robbery. Passing is your nemesis. How about that? Mm. Oh, oh that's wide open dive. Got him over the top. Dive. It's Herman Lewis on. to the 13 One. yard line. One. Come on. Finish. This is in the worst position right here by Deep Croft. You know, it's at the 13. It's, it's really hard to pick up a first down here. He'll get the ball back if he, if he can get a stop and at least give himself a chance. He's got one timeout in his pocket. This has got to be a run call here in this spot. Hand off to Byers, uh -oh. has room. He's wow. down to the two. Oh, he picks on. up the come first on, down man. and takes the come seat. On, man. GG's. Come look on. at the look at D Cross face right now. He cannot believe what has happened on this drive. Perfect situation for Kiv. And if you D Cross right there, why aren't you run committing? Why aren't you selling out to, to stop mm -hmm. the run? Why you know he's not passing? Run commit. Give yourself a chance. Get him to second and long. Most definitely, you have to do that in that situation. And I think the funny and the weird thing to look at here, we're going to see how this one ends up. But you saw the previous one that Kiv won was 20 to 17. I think we're going to have the same thing. We're going to have the same thing. <laughs> Serendipity here in the ultimate Madden Bowl quarterfinals. The emotion has been there. The action has been there. And we're still tied up. No winner yet. Kiv on the six-yard line. Is he trying back to pass here? Looks like he's dialing up a dot. He won't throw this. He's going to, yeah. He's I mean, much time. So mm. Reba. If you're Decroft, that, that third down play or second down play where that slant was open, that's one of those plays that will haunt you for a long, long time. Honestly, I think in this situation, I mean, you're most likely going to lose if you're Decroft. However, you, if you see Kiv come out here and pass again and try to take that much time, I say you just send the house. You know he's going to take the sack. Click on and try to strip. I mean, do something. Do something, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's doing, he doing it. He's, he's giving up anything. He's giving up free touchdown if he takes it, but obviously Kiv won't. Brunel back to pass, takes the pressure, the scream off the end. So right now with a field goal, he'll get a kick return. But Kiv will have a 49-yard field goal. That could be a 49-yard field goal for $45,000. What a game, once again, between these two. No surprise. Comes right down to the wire. Again. I know these guys, they're, they're sick of hearing about the rivalry. They're, they're probably sick of seeing each other at this point. But this, this is what being in person gives us. These rivalries, the emotion here. You can't get this in a remote environment. Oh, and if Kiv kicks his field goal, it's going to be 2 2 between these two guys. We're going to need a fifth one at some point down the road. From the 32 yard line, left hash mark, ball is down, kick is up, and with Nothing three dumb, seconds please. remaining, dumb, please. Kiv. Just end the game, please, please. He has a three point lead. Anybody else nervous for this kickoff? Always. not his head. Yep. Always nervous. Kicks it short, Byers gonna take it left side. 
D. Croft will take a seat with one second, one play, one chance for a miracle. You gotta go on aggressive in this situation and at least give yourself a chance. Yep. Try to break some tackles. Twenty to seventeen. You see the defeated face of D. Croft. We've seen D. Croft have some miracles in the past. Squib kick anyone? One second remain. Man up three deep right now for Kiv. D. Croft getting his offense set. Going for a zero probably. Back to pass is Brunel. Final play of the game, throwing it up. Ted Hendricks is out Let's there. Go! Peppers with the Let's pick. Go! Welcome back to Glory Kiv. He is into the semifinals.